Greetings again, NBC YouTubers. I'm Arlo White, and welcome to the latest installment of Inside the Mind. I've come back to the Tottenham Hotspur Training Centre, just north of London, on a brisk February day, to talk to one of the most controversial, successful, and charismatic men in world football, whose task this season is to get Tottenham back into the top four of the Premier League and maybe win that elusive trophy they're still in the FA Cup. What a pleasure it was to sit down with the Tottenham Hotspur manager, Jose Mourinho. Well, Jose, thank you for your time and joining us on NBC Sports and Inside the Mind for the first time. Um, before taking the, the Tottenham job and returning to the Premier League, you were out of the game or out of management for almost a year. Yeah. What did you do with yourself during that time? Immediately, I had a rest. So when I left United, I had a couple of weeks rest, not going to football matches, not watching football on, on TV, not speaking about football, doesn't want to meet, didn't want to meet my, my assistants, was just, okay, a couple of, of weeks. And then was time to prepare the next step, which at that moment, of course, we don't know when and where. I decided to make some changes in my, in my coaching staff. I had to make decisions about the composition of the next one. I had to meet uh, people, I had to choose the right people, and the moment where I made my, my decision was time to start working on, uh, on the method, on, on, on the work. A punditry was something that had for me two sides, but both very positive. One was um, to be in the other side. It was good to be in the other side. It was good to meet the ones that are pundits uh, full time, let's say that, and to try to understand them and to analyze them and, uh, and to, to prepare myself better for when I go back to my, to my reality. I had clubs that were coming and of course, good. Uh, but to say no, when you have the impulse of, I want to work, I want to go back, but to be strong enough to say no, because this is not what I really want, was a good experience, was a good test to myself because sometimes it was hard to say no, but analyzing well, I was feeling that there is a reason for this no. So come on, Jose, wait a little bit more. The right one is going to arrive. So it was, was fine, it was good. So the right one obviously did arrive and it's Tottenham Hotspur. Yeah. So what appealed to you about the club and about the job? I didn't thought during this period one single second that I could come to Tottenham was not a club that I was expecting to change. I was not expecting that the club was changing, uh, coach was coming to me. So I, I was never focused on Tottenham. So the, the first click I had with Tottenham was when I sat with Mr. Levy. I think he was very good in the way he introduced me to the club. The way he showed me the club and the kind of project and uh, what is fundamental, what is important for the, for the club. He was very, very good in the way he presented to me. Of course, there are clubs where it's much easier to win, but I was attracted by, by the Tottenham project. Welcome back, of course, here at the London Stadium to Jose Mourinho, serial winner. Thank you, Mauricio. What have you got, Mourinho? I am in a club that we can say is an outsider in every competition that we play. But we know that we have, we have the potential and we have the ambition and we have the happiness. And this last word is very important for me, happiness. Mm. Very important to be happy. Very important to love the club, the people that you work with, the players. And I'm very happy, so when I'm happy, I know that I can influence the people that work with me to follow me. So. I like it. You've been a manager a long time, some of the biggest clubs in the world. Um, how have you evolved? What have you learned? How have you changed down the years at the top level as management? 
I think it's, it's one, one job where, um, I think probably every job, but I, in, in the specificity of being a football manager, experience is very important. Everything is a feeling of uh, déjà vu, uh, winning 3-0 against West Ham, and uh, they do 3-1, they do 3-2, and you are in trouble, is not something new, it's something déjà vu. So I think the more, the more you, you, you work, more knowledge, more know-how, more experience, more control of, um, of the emotions that, uh, you know, that emotional control is, is very, very important. So it's an accumulation of experiences, I think, uh, football coach. I think probably every sport, the more you live, the more, uh, the more ready for the next ch challenge you are. Finally from me, um, you've won league titles, Portugal, Italy, Spain, England, two Champions Leagues, countless cup competitions. What gives you, what achievement gives you the most pleasure? The unexpected one, the, the one that people is not expecting. I used to say, you have to try to make your team uh, be better than the sum of the parts. And then when you are able to do that, you are able to do things that people doesn't expect. Because what people normally does in, in football is pure mathematic, two plus two is four. Uh, this team has better players, this team invested more, uh, this team spent X money, this team is going to win. And then, doesn't matter what the manager does, it looks like everyone can do it. And there are some clubs in, in the world where that happened. If somebody wins with that club, somebody did it last year, somebody did it two years ago, somebody did it three years ago, somebody will do next year when you leave. So I think the unexpected one is the one that creates more, uh, more impact. Fantastic. Well, we know it's a busy part of the season, Jose. Pushing for top four FA Cup as well. We appreciate your time on it. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch highlights all season long and tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend at 7am Eastern on NBCSN. And for more than 1,400 hours of exclusive Premier League content, make sure to visit nbcsports.com gold.